Yo, CHS, I'm Riley, and we are officially back with our first Tiger TV. And I'm Bailey, and I'm so thrilled to be back. all them skateboarders rolling around town lately? I think I need to get on one of those. Yeah, let's throw it over to Logan and Chia so they can show us how to ride one. We had a lot of people who helped us through this pandemic that uh, not really a lot of people see. I agree. Let's see what COVID Heroes RJ has to show us. Hi, I'm Abby Dangler. I'm here with our COVID hero, Mrs. Gerhardt, head of food services and HR. Mrs. Gerhardt, what was the process of the meals? Sure. So when uh, we came down to closing back in March, we knew that with our district being uh, everybody getting free meals that we needed to make sure that our students were still provided meals even though they were not in school. So we stepped up to the plate and started a plan together immediately so that we could begin offering meals on March 16th. Um, do you know about how many meals were served? So from March 16th through June 30th, um, before the summer program began, we had provided over 108,000 meals during that time. <laughs> from uh, August 25th because we did not provide meals during uh, July because there was another entity local that provided meals since July or August 25th when we came back to current we are at about 15,000 meals oh, wow that's incredible okay what are your plans as of now since we're back in school so you while the students are here in school we still provide a regular type a lunch typical grab-and-go items as well but we are also providing meals uh, to the students that are doing remote learning or the kids that are not here on Friday. So we offer a sign-up sheet and then we put meals together for them and then we pass them out on Friday. That's amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> hey, Bay, what do you think about this mullet? Uh, it's okay. I know you want to touch it, but that's not really necessary with all this uh, COVID going around. Anyways, let's see all the new hairstyles around the school. <laughs> so sad that we won't have pumpkin show this year. I know, it doesn't seem like fall without it. Well, good thing our next segment will help fill the sadness without it. Hello everyone, and welcome to our first annual Crowning of the Kings. I'm Kenzie Whaley, and I'll be your host for tonight. 
was popping is Ben Mogan. I got roped into this. I'm a senior. Uh, I'm Ben Mogan. That's my slogan. I'm Chip Stanley. I'm a sophomore. Be hip, vote for Chip. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Craig Fleck. DJ Khaled. And I am a junior. Keep it in check. Vote for Fleck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Question number one. What is your biggest fear? Explain. Um, I have a really big fear of boomerangs because I threw one a long time ago and it never came back and I'm just waiting for the day. Awesome. Question number two. If I was a genie in a bottle and could grant you any one wish, what would it be? Uh, to be cool. Okay. Question number three. What is one thing you would change about yourself? Everything. Can I have all the contestants to please come back up? All right, Chip, I'm sorry, but I have to let you go. Go ahead and take a seat. I'm going to ask the last two contestants the same question, and we're going to choose whoever gives the best answer. If you could meet one celebrity, who would it be and why? John Stamos, because I always fell asleep dreaming of him. Okay. All right, Craig, if you could meet one celebrity, who would it be and why? I would like to meet uh, John Cena, because nobody's ever seen that man before. Alright. Can I have our last two contestants please come back up? Alright, we had some great efforts tonight, but the winner is Ben Mogan. No way. We got the OG Mr. Conley on Tiger TV today. Isn't he like famous on Twitter or something? Something like that, but him and Angel are going to give us a rundown on Black Lives Matter. Hey Avery, so uh, what's your stance on Black Lives Matter? In my opinion, I think Black Lives Matter, but I don't agree with the violence and the protesting, but I agree with peaceful protest. I agree, I, I, I like the peaceful protest. All right, I'm here with Mrs. Grady, and how do you feel, Mrs. Grady, about the Black Lives Matter movement? I feel it's pretty important to our times. It's a, it's a shame that we still have to have these type of movements after all of these years, but um, clearly there are still issues in the world that need to be brought forth, so I try to do that with my lessons, and um, I think it's something that we need to discuss and, and bring to the table every day. I'm here with Kara Cooper. Um, Kara, how do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? I mean, I support it because I come from a black family that has gone through a lot of history, and I like seeing everyone support it. Good answer. I, I agree. All right, I'm here with my man, Mr. Hackward. How do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? Well, as far as a language arts teacher, uh, I believe in two things, reading and traveling. So you're going to learn about the world around you by reading about different perspectives, different stories, different uh, cultures. And so I'm all for it. I support it. And I believe that, you know, we're doing the right thing here by learning about all sorts of things around the world. So be strong. I'm here with Wyatt Thatcher. Wyatt, how do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? Uh, I support Black Lives Matter like everyone should. I'm here with Omari Graham. Omari, how do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? I support it, but it should be, it should be more equality between black and whites. And, and there's, it's not there yet as much as it should be. I agree. I'm here with Maddie and Zoe. How do you guys feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? I support this movement because it is morally right. How about you, Maddie? I think everybody should be treated the same way. Both good answers. I agree both with both of them. Have you seen that big box in the library lately? You talking about that thing that Miss Lombardo will not stop talking about? Yeah. Jack and Nick are going to show us what it's all about with a podcast with some of our alumni. Perfect. There we go. Hello, CHS. Welcome to the first episode of Alumni Podcast, where CHS students now interview Tiger graduates. 
Today, we have Jerry Mogan, who is our transportation director at Circleville City Schools. Jerry, thanks for being with us. Well, thanks for having me. What was trendy then? Well, the clothes were, you got to remember, MTV had just come out a year and a half before then. So then you started seeing all these looks from New York and Hollywood and Europe and everything on these uh, music videos. We got a little bit of people trying to, you know, the Pat Benatar look. You probably don't even know who Pat Benatar is, but. No, sir. Um, there were just different styles and looks that came to Circle Bell through MTV. When you were in high school. Did you guys have senior prank? Uh, Was we that, did. We did. <laughs> everybody. So. Since you can't really get in trouble for it now, is what was your senior prank? Well, we put a Volkswagen in the high school. <laughs> they took the uh, the middle out of the door, and we kind of just rolled it right in the back hallway of the old high school. If you would like to hear the full version of our first alumni podcast, be sure to check out our channel. Well, that's all we got for our first episode of Tiger TV. See you next time, CHS. Hope you all enjoyed it. Peace out, CHS.